Let's write the formula for HG2NO32. So we'll start off, we know that mercury, HG here, is a transition metal. And then the nitrite, NO3, this is a group of nonmetals. This is a polyatomic ion. It's called the nitrate ion. So to write the name, since we have a metal and a group of nonmetals, we'll treat this as an ionic compound. First, we write the name for HG as it appears on the periodic table. That's just mercury. Next, we need to write the name for the polyatomic ion. NO3, that's going to be the nitrate ion. So you've either memorized that, or if you're allowed, you look it up, lowercase n. And so far, the name for Hg2NO32 is mercury nitrate. But mercury, that's a transition metal. So we need to write a Roman numeral here to show the charge on the mercury. Nitrate, that's always going to be 1 minus. 2 times 1 minus is 2 minus. So we need a 2 plus over here in order for this to have a net charge of 0. Well, if we had a 1 plus here, 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus, that would balance out the charge, give us a net charge of 0. So we'd put a Roman numeral 1 between the names, and the name for Hg2NO32 is mercury 1 nitrate. You might ask, why didn't we just have HgNO3? The charge would balance as well. But the mercury 1 ion, it's a little bit strange. It's Hg2 with 2 plus. So the ion has a 2 plus charge. Each mercury has a charge of 1. That's why it's the mercury 1 ion. But this stays together, kind of like a polyatomic ion. So when you hear mercury 1 cation, the mercury 1 ion, it's Hg2 2 plus. Kind of a strange one. Either way, the name for Hg2NO32 is mercury 1 nitrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.